Well, welcome to the old classic car channel and it's a bit of a snowy old day today so we thought we'd have a bit of fun out in the snow and take some photographs. The old Fergie's looking a little bit snow covered but it's a tractor so uh, they're designed to live outside, it shouldn't come to any harm, it's fully anti-freezed up, yeah it's fully anti-freezed up and so on. But we thought, well, the Renault hasn't run for a little while, they don't get much use at this time of year so we thought we'll bring it out and it's a great opportunity to take some photographs and just warm things through so that's exactly what we're doing here is the little Renault 1954 registered as I mentioned in a previous video these were actually assembled here in the UK hence being right hand drive so they were sent here as a kit of parts and assembled at Renault's facility at Acton um, and then sold here I don't know how many actually sold in this country but I imagine there are quite a few but very few survive And when you get a covering of snow, it's just great to photograph cars against. Harley's school is closed today because not all the teachers can get in, so uh, they've thrown out the white flag and given up. So uh, he's got a day off, an unexpected snow day off school. So he's been roped in to help me, and he didn't need much persuading. In. Yeah, he roped himself in, really, just to do a bit of driving, a bit of driving duties. And it's very helpful when it comes to parking in the garage. So yeah, this won't come to any harm, getting a bit of snow on its tyres, there's no salt on our drive. There is out there. Well, I was actually saying that, there isn't. Um, surprisingly, the roads weren't gritted last night. So uh, people have been slipping and sliding, so went through the hedge just up the road. Which was quite exciting. But yeah, right, do you want to just put the choke in a little bit more and then move it? You can just move it backwards or forwards a bit, just exercise the brakes and the clutch. Yeah, yeah, well, try and avoid the icy bits. So it's not that cold today actually, I mean it was cold overnight when it snowed but it's not actually that that cold, it could be a lot colder I'm interested to know actually what it would be like driving this in the snow because being rear engine the traction could probably be quite good actually. If you've got any experiences of Renault 4 CVs there's a bit of a dodgy contact on this brake light I've noticed. I did have a look at it a few weeks ago and gave it a wiggle and a jiggle. It looks like it needs doing again. Hello, you just watch where you're going. <laughs> So it hasn't run for a little while so it won't do any harm at all just exercising the clutch the brakes get some heat through the engine right well, if you pop this behind the mx5 if you pop it over there you might want to get over a little bit It's a three speed, three forward speed gearbox on this, so reverse is where first would normally be, same as on the Anglia. A bit more, keep going, I'll watch you back. We've also got a Dodge pickup out today, if you've not seen the introduction video that should be live by the time this one goes out. What a cracking little truck this is. Harley loves this one. I think this is probably his favourite to drive. He's a big fan of that six cylinder engine. Do you not have favourites? <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> like I said, I did do a video about this, published it to the uh, channel very recently, so have a look at that if you've not seen it yet. And there's, there we go, that's a floor start. Again, it won't harm to warm this one through a bit as well. Just go steady, that's it. Right, 
we get so little proper snow here that when we do get some snow a bit of wheel spin when we do get a bit of snow um, it's a good opportunity to come out and just have a bit of a play we do have some traction issues I'm guessing there's very little weight over the back wheels on this because obviously it's designed to carry a load um, It won't be long before he's driving off properly down the road, but for now, he's restricted to the driveway. But yeah, when the weather's like this, it's great just to come outside and have a play. Everywhere looks beautiful before it all turns slushy. She's sounding sweet. Burble, burble. I'm sorry. It is surprisingly slippery. You want to try moving it backwards and forwards a bit, just exercise the brakes as much as you can. Try. try and keep to the white stuff and then you'll get more grip. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're having some traction issues. Maybe coming outside for a play today wasn't the best idea. <laughs> if you come up the if you come up the slope, and then might have to use the Renault to tow it back. But well, it doesn't have to practice clutch control in icy weather. Gently, gently. It's like squeak from somewhere. Just leave it there, just leave it there for now. So what's all this wheel spinning then? Ice. <laughs> Are you doing that on purpose? No, no, no. Of course not. Why would I do that? But <laughs> it's quite slippery up there. Honestly, I swear I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just icy. It is actually very icy. It is icy. Try and walk up there. Yeah, it's pretty hazardous. If you walk on the thick snow, as anyone who's driven in snow will know, you get more grip here than you do over here. I mean, the road is uh, it's defrosting a little bit now, but earlier on it was like an ice rink. <laughs> yeah, it was like an ice rink earlier on, wasn't it? I'm not that immature, am I? <laughs> but they look nice out in the snow, don't they? A little Renault basking in the sun. They couldn't be more different to drive. The only thing they have in common is the gear layout. They're both three-speed and the gears are in the same place, but otherwise there's very little in common with these two. Burble, burble, burble. I wonder how much snow it encountered in California in the late 1940s. Probably not a great deal. There's a choke in now. Um, just, just try popping the choke in. Yeah, it should be more or less in, but I'm still sort of finding my way a little bit. Yeah, that sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. 
If you're a fan of old trucks and commercial vehicles, please pop a note in the comments and say hello. I know not everyone's into these old pickups and vans and so on, but I just think they've got oodles of character. Yes. Yeah, he, he approves. Which do you prefer, cars or vans and pickups and things? Small commercials. Small commercials are good. I don't think I could live with like a massive lorry. No. But pickups are very, very good. They're quite handy, aren't they? They, they are very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be there. Next year's Christmas tree collection should be sorted, shouldn't it? Tip, car boots. Yeah, yeah do a car boot yeah, sale, couldn't we? That's right. All good fun. I don't think we'll be moving the MX-5 today somehow. Nor will we be moving a little standard 8, I think. It's partially covered under the remains of this old lean-to. But yeah, I'll brush all this off afterwards. It's so unusual to get thick snowfall here. You know, some years we get none at all or just the very lightest dusting. So to get a few inches of the stuff, um, it's quite unusual actually. Oh, this is testing out his Land Rover's uh, off-road capability in the snow. This is quite a nifty thing actually. So what make is this? FTX Outback Ranger. FTX Outback Ranger. If you've had a look on Harley's car traction channel, you'll see several reviews that he did of this. It's a fun thing. It is quite cool actually. You can get different bodies for them as well. Is, is it four wheel drive? Yeah. yeah. Four wheel drive. As you can see. <laughs> Too much grip for donuts. Well, we've taken quite a few photographs, glorious scenery like I said before. I'm just going to put them away again now before they get too cold. Okay, well I'll move the Dodge back up there and then I'll watch you back. I suppose if he's got to be off school for the day he might as well have some fun. He was actually quite disappointed not to be in school today. I'll do. Just wait there. And then... Right, let's fire up this old beast. Move her back. See if I can accomplish it without spinning the wheels. Right, so. Be careful. You spin the wheels. Yeah. Ignition on. Like this is slippy. I nearly just fell over. You did, yeah. <laughs> right, ignition on in neutral. Floor start there. Big button on the floor. Oil pressure comes up nice and quickly, that's good. Right. Do you want to, if I pass you the camera? I hope Dad spins the wheels, that'd be funny. Oh, he's on the grippy bit. I think one of the brakes is sticking a tiny little bit, so that's a bit of an excuse. As you can hear. I mean, I know, apologies, this isn't the most exciting of videos, but it's just having a bit of fun playing around with these things. You can have fun with old cars without actually having to take them on the road. There's gear in there somewhere. Right. Do you want to push the choke all the way in and just see if it idles okay now? Is that all the way in now, is it? Yeah, because before it was cutting out, but I think it's okay now. Right, I'll watch you back. I do like that little four badge on the uh, bonnet there. Still another two and a bit years before he starts learning to drive officially, but he'll have had plenty of practice at manoeuvring and parking.
Okay, keep going. Well, we're going to put the toys away now just in case it starts snowing again or raining or something unpleasant like that. But it's just been a fun couple of hours playing out in the snow. We're going to finish off that snowman, I think, after we've done this. Right, I'll concentrate on pointing him and directing him in, I think. It is actually starting to snow again. I can't see it amounting to much, but we don't want to get it wet in the back, did you? <laughs> so I'll watch Harley back it in. He's, uh, into neutral, that's it. Ignition. There we go. I'll definitely be watching him in now. Okay, just go back at that. That way now. Yep. A bit less. All right, start straightening it up. Excellent job. Oh, good job there, young man. Thank you. Right, anyway, safely tucked away, as is the Renault, the little Catra CV. So that's good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Just a little short video there, just of uh, us doing juvenile things in the snow. And uh, there'll be plenty more videos coming along very, very soon. So uh, thank you for all the likes, subs and comments and so on. Bye for now.